All right, all witch bookie followers, and welcome back to a new anti post selection for the Christmas festival of 2021 up in Leopard Sound. It's another day, another anti post selection, having had the Paddy Power selections yesterday. Unfortunately, only one of the two have been declared. A little bit of a surprise, actually, to see 10 10 not declared. I think something might be a little bit amiss with him uh, because he wasn't declared for the Troy Chain a month ago. I thought he would definitely run in this, but he hasn't been. So he unfortunately misses out, and Alpha Mix now becomes our mainstay. For that he was my stronger of the two so fingers crossed he can run very well come the 27th this uh, selection comes from the 28th and it's the feature race on the day the Savills Chase over three miles and it's a race that revolves solely around at Plutar the four to six favorite based off what he did in this race last year the Gold Cup last year and also his run in the Betfair Chase only a month ago at Haydock he won that race in extremely facile fashion that being said, I'm sure it was a three-mile grade one around Haydock. It has taken a bit out of the horse. And even though visually it didn't look like he was exerting too much energy and, and seemingly had won the race so, so easily, I'm, I'd be surprised if it hasn't taken a hint of an edge off him. And just I'd prefer to let him win at a price of four to six rather than plunging in and backing him myself. Moving on to the challengers, and I think there's a fair each way challenger in this, and that is Delta Work, who's currently still 8 to 1 with William Hill and Ladbrooks. He's a little bit shorter with a couple of other firms, but I think that's a fair each way price, as I think he could continue to contract and could end up going off second fav in and around that 9 to 2, 5 to 1 mark. I think he's just got rock solid capabilities of running into the frame and potentially winning the race if Aplutar doesn't run to form. You look at his chase form around Leopardstown where he's three wins from five over this course and distance. All five of those runs have been in competitive grade ones and he's won this race back in 2019 where he beat Mana Lee. He went on to follow that up with winning the Irish Gold Cup in 2020 and those two runs are his top RPRs in the figured book of 172 and 173 respectively. So, therefore, he's obviously got good Leopardstown form, he's got good course form, and he'll like the ground on offer on the chase track at Leopardstown, which is usually a little bit nicer than you get at other tracks in Ireland. The main thing, though, that has pushed me over to uh, put up this selection for Delta Work, because I was wondering whether to put him up anti-post or maybe wait for the day, but it's seeing that Jack Kennedy is back riding on the 26th of December. He's jocked up on Riviera de Tell in the Grade 1 Novice Chase over two miles, and I think this is a massive thing, because Jack Kennedy is the key to this horse he gets him jumping and he's he is a little bit of a clumsy horse at times delta work he's a fundamentally good jumper but can make a couple of mistakes and jack kennedy seems to eradicate those mistakes and make sure that the horse and jockey are in good unison i thought he ran a perfectly respectable race in fourth in the ladbrooks champion chase where he wouldn't have been wound up he's difficult to get fit and he's usually very prominent on his second start of a season so delta work is currently eight to one with william hill and ladbrooks i think that's a fair each way price for the Savills Chase on the 28th of December at Leopardstown. And keep uh, in touch and keep obviously looking up uh, the Witch Bookie website, the Twitter, the YouTube channel, and everything in between, because there'll be a couple more anti post selections, maybe, for the Cheltenham Festival in the coming day or two. So keep your eyes peeled, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.